Hi, today I'd like to speak about the fundamentals of golf. Now when I say the fundamentals, you're probably thinking things like aim, grip, stance, alignments, ball position. Now for me, a fundamental is something that all the best golfers in the world demonstrate in equal fashion. They would do it in exactly the same way. For me, aim, grip, stance, alignment and ball position aren't fundamentals, but in reality they're variables, because all golfers do them slightly differently. So we start with first on the aim. So where are we aiming the club face? Is it at the target? Is it to the right of the target? Or is it to the left of the target? If we think that the golf club is hook faced and we're actually standing at an angle not directly behind the line, imagine how difficult it is over long distances in order for us to aim that golf club straight. Think of an archer who's looking straight down, or someone firing a gun who's straight down the target line. Think over the long distances, 150, 200, 250 yards, how difficult it is for them to aim straight. So then, think how difficult it is for a golfer to aim straight. It becomes virtually impossible. Fortunately, we really don't need to aim straight. Where the golf club head is pointing will very much be a function of the type of shot we're trying to hit. So every golfer is going to do this in a different manner. Then if we think of the grip, every golfer is going to have a different grip. Some golfers are going to have the left hand turned over to the right, others to the left. Some golfers are going to interlock, some golfers are going to overlap, some golfers even have a baseball grip. Some people are going to have a short thumb, so it's tucked in here. Some people are going to have a longer thumb, so it extends down the shaft. Some people are going to have the right, the base of the right index finger against the shaft, some on top of the shaft, and some underneath the shaft. Again, every golfer is going to be different. Then if we look at the stance, how do we stand in relation to the golf ball? Some golfers are going to have a very wide stance. Some golfers are going to have a much more narrow stance. Some golfers are going to be slouched over the golf ball more. Some golfers are going to be far more upright. Every golfer is going to demonstrate this in a slightly different manner. Some golfers are going to have a posterior tilt. Some golfers are going to have more of an anterior tilt. It really just depends on the golfer. Then if we think of alignment, some golfers will aim their bodies to the left of the target. Some golfers to the right of the target. Some golfers parallel. But again, everyone is going to do this differently. And then if we think of the last one, ball position, once again, some golfers are going to have the ball further back, some golfers are going to have the ball further forward. It really depends on the type of shots you're trying to hit. And as a result of this, every golfer will have different, a different set of the traditional fundamentals. You need to understand that everything goes behind them in order to apply them to your golf swing. So it's really no good saying, my grip should be in such a position, and my stance should be in such a position because I've seen such and such golf run to do that. It needs to fit your swing. It needs to fit the ball flight you're trying to get. If we don't feel well, we go to the doctor. We expect the doctor to be able to diagnose us in the first instance and then to also prescribe the correct medicine for us to feel better the quickest. This means that the doctor needs to have a very systematic approach towards his work. We wouldn't expect him to haphazardly give us any kind of medicine simply in the hope that it might be the right one for us. There needs to be structure to what they're doing. And it's the same thing in golf. We need structure. We need a system that is going to enable us to play the best golf we can the quickest. This brings us to what I would consider the true fundamentals of the golf swing. Now the first fundamental is the ability to hit the ground in the same spot time after time. So the best players are all able to demonstrate this in equal measure. They all hit the ground in the same spot. They all hit the ball first, then the ground, which means that they all hit the ball solidly. So that is the first fundamental, hit the ball in the same spot time after time. The second fundamental is the ability to hit the ball far enough to be able to play the golf course. So if you take just the first fundamental on its own, you could stand there and hit little chip shots 10-15 yards. Every one of them struck very sweetly. On the golf course, when the holes measure 300, 400, 500, even 600 yards, that isn't enough for us to be able to get around the golf course in a satisfactory number of shots. So the second fundamental is hit the ball far enough to play the golf course. The third fundamental is the ability to control the curvature of your shots. So if we think of a progression, we have first we need to hit the ball solidly, then we need to hit the ball far, then we need to control the curvature of the shots. And if we take golfers on tour, for example, that third fundamental is usually going to be the difference between winning and coming 50th in the field. 
They all hit the ball solidly virtually every single time. They all hit the ball far enough, or comparatively far enough, to be able to play the golf course well. So then the difference lies in just quite how much control they have over the spin and the curvature of the golf ball.